Hey guys, I recently got the question, as baseball players, what should we be doing to protect our arms? And I want to say that is a great question. And there are several things that we need to be doing to protect our arms throughout the season and throughout, and throughout the year. I would say the number one thing that we should be doing is to monitor the amount of throws that we actually perform throughout a week and throughout a year. And what this means is a lot of times guys are participating in multiple teams or multiple organizations or going to different, different pitching coaches, fielding coaches, and throwing almost sometimes some guys are actually throwing a couple of nights or a couple times a day and that can really start building up volume so the first thing to do is to monitor volume if you're a pitcher or a, an outfielder or an infielder and you're throwing and you're trying to gain a little velocity in your throw make sure that you're staggering your days to have high days and low days and moderate days so high intensity low intensity and moderate intensity so you only really long tossing or on a bullpen two to three times a week, two times in season probably, and three times out of season. The other thing that we need to be doing is to make sure that we have a routine. So there's several different things to build, help build up arm strength. So you can have an arm durability program. You can have an arm recovery program. You can have some isometrics that you do prior to your high intensity day. So there's several things that we can be doing. So some, some building up uh, overall strength in the shoulder, and then doing some, doing some slow returns or eccentric work after you throw at a high, a high intensity to restore some of that range of motion and to restore some of that, uh, that strength that you lose after a high intensity. Athlete Development Solutions has a great program that's called Pitcher Performance and Durability that kind of guides you through that if, there's some, if that's something you want to look into. And then again, I kind of want to go back on, the, on what I was saying as far as limiting the amount of throws. The one thing that we know, we can't out-recover if if we're performing too much too much activity so really monitor the amount of activity that you're doing the other thing to do the other thing that we want to make sure we're following is to when you actually pitch for a pitcher is how much have you thrown how many how many pitches did you throw and then when should you be throwing the next day so if you're throwing 70 pitches in a game throwing that next day probably isn't the best idea for you and this really comes into play like i kind of touched on as far as if you're on multiple teams or if you have uh, two different practices or you're trying to get into some pitching lessons outside of the game, if you throw on Sunday, pitching lessons on Monday might not be the best idea for you. But down, the, down closer to Tuesday, Wednesday, where you've had some rest and you're not going to be right next door to the, to the next tourney on the next weekend, that might be a better, better time um, to do it. So to kind of rehash of what we talked about, limit the amount of throws. Don't throw hard every day and make sure you stagger high intensity with low intensity days. Two is to make sure that you have a good arm, local arm care routine to be following with different, different programs for different days. So make sure you start with your, start with your uh, pre-throw tubing before you throw every day. Maybe some Indian clubs uh, to, get the, to get the arm, arm circles and get, that, get the patterning down pat before you start to throw. And then, the, and then some... Uh, shoulder strengthening, isolated shoulder strengthening, and then and then some re um, isolated recovery strategies on the on the back end, and then also along with that, make sure make sure that you're not throwing too much. Uh, make sure you follow, kind of follow the guidelines with that, guys. If you have any questions on this topic, please reach out to me. I'd be happy to answer with it. And if you help need help developing any of the of the arm care programs, please reach out. I'd be happy to help you out with. Thanks, guys.